Well, the Department of Justice giving out around $377,000 to Indiana Police Department. Franklin Police Department in Johnson County gets the largest grant. 24-hour news hates Elizabeth Choi joins us down. Elizabeth, this is for specific equipment. Yeah, it sure is, Dave. Bulletproof vest. Franklin is receiving more than $15,000. It's a 50-50 match program, so altogether around $31,000 will pay for 35 vests. At r and Tire Express, they know a thing or two about business. We do tires and wheels on weekly payments. They also know a thing or two about security. After their back door opened after hours and set off the alarm, police came out immediately. It was opened right up and on our security footage, we can see them approach the door and they come in as if it's a dangerous situation. Fortunately, this time it wasn't. The door just hadn't been closed properly. But unfortunately, there's always the possibility of a next time. Potentially, it could have been very dangerous. I mean, we have stacks of tires and stacks of wheels that would be very easy for someone to hide behind that if they were trying to cause some malicious intents. But if the bad guys come, they're confident. That the Franklin Police Department will be able to handle the call. Currently, all 49 officers are outfitted with bullet resistant vests. It's just another tool to help keep our guys safe. The vests, which are mandatory at FPD, cost anywhere between eight to nine hundred dollars each. The department replaces them about every five years. But the vests don't just protect against bullets. It has uh, saved us as far as someone trying to hit you. It's another layer of protection or stab you. It's just another piece of armor on your body that helps you uh, against the criminal element. Protecting against criminals is one thing that keeps business rolling at RNR. Knowing that they can feel protected and their families can feel protected as they come and protect our families and our businesses is super important. Altogether, the Department of Justice awarded 111 grants across Indiana, cities, towns, and counties, with less than 100,000 people get first priority. In the studio, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8.